Olá, meninos e meninas. Vou mostrar para vocês hoje, neste canal, uma das tecnologias mais revolucionárias. Você vai conseguir ver, é, enxergar em tempo real como a tecnologia pode, de fato, acelerar mudanças, inclusive reduzir morte de mulheres em estado avançado de câncer de mama. Tenho a honra de receber aqui a doutora e fundadora, CEO e CTO da Dinamai Health Analytics, Dr. Gita, Gita Manjunath. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I wish we could listen more about your story because it's such a, an inspirational story. Please tell us how did you develop what you are doing, where you came from, etc. Sure. Thank you very much for having me on your show. I'm basically a computer scientist with a PhD in uh, computer science and artificial intelligence and machine learning. I was a principal scientist at Hewlett Packard Labs, and then you know I used to head AI research for Xerox. Everything was good, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good team, smart people to work with, interesting problems. One day, I just learned that one of my close friend and sister, Bharti, got detected with breast cancer. She was 42 years at that time. She had a small son. Fourth stage, she lived for six months. That was shocking. I started looking at statistics of breast cancer. 680,000 women die every year because of this disease. In countries like India, it's 50% survival rate. Every alternate lady detected with breast cancer dies. That got me shocking. Mm -hmm. I said, I have to do something. As a scientist, I said, can I use AI, artificial intelligence to it? Started discussing with several of my friends and uh, imaging experts to see if there's any other way to detect cancer early. And sorry, when did it happen? This was uh, way back in 2015, 2016. Okay. I was still in the job. Uh -huh. But once I got this thought, I just started some exploratory activities and quit my job to start Niramai, wow. which has now become one of the most awarded startups in India. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you. And uh, this is a device. And would you show us how it works? Sure. So this is a simple thermal sensor or uh -huh. an infrared camera, which is just measuring temperature variations on the chest. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they can see it. I'm showing my hand, which is a live temperature measuring instrument. Mm -hmm. I show my face. <laughs> That's how it is. We use the same device to measure the temperature variations on the chest. We measure 400,000 temperature points. Okay. It gives us the temperature values for every tissue. Mm. At an accuracy and resolution at 0 0.02 degrees Celsius. Once you have so much of data, that's when machine learning and AI kicks in. We have developed novel artificial intelligence based algorithms to analyze this 400,000 temperature points per person wow. to say whether there's an abnormality, what is the probability that it's actually cancer, mm -hmm. and also marking the area of likely malignancy so that a follow-up diagnostic workup can be focused on that area and find it early. How accurate is this? We have done several studies comparing what this says is a suspicious of malignancy or not mm -hmm. with standard of care which includes mammography mm -hmm. and breast ultrasound because mammography doesn't work on dense breasts and women under 45. Mm -hmm. So both these imaging tests, and I'm happy to share that all the cancers detected by both these methods have been detected by our wow. AI model. And I can imagine, I, I'm, can I? Sure. Like look in here, for me it seems pretty, pretty much cheaper than that huge machines in a right. country as mine, Brazil, uh, most of women uh, die in the, because of a breast yeah. cancer yeah. because they discover so uh, yeah, late, yeah. Too, too late. Exactly, to that's have the problem, a, a that's way the back. problem. And this like in a 
population, small population, a small city that has no access to that huge machines, this really can um, save thousands of women. Absolutely. Absolutely. How much does, does this cost? This is one by 20, the cost of a mammography machine. One by 20? So, yeah, so many people can benefit. Yeah. This is a screening device. If mm. somebody is found to be suspicious, then they need to go through all the sort of the MRI, the breast, you know, ultrasound and 3D mammography and all of the detailed tests. Mm -hmm. In countries like Brazil and India, we don't have money to do all of those tests for yeah. everybody. And everybody need not go through the different hassles of doing those tests. Mm -hmm. This is a screening test. It identifies those 100 women or 50 women among the 1,000 women screened who need to be brought to a hospital. These women would never ever have gone through any screening otherwise. They don't come to the hospital otherwise. Yeah. They, they can't afford to come to the hospital. It's not accessible to them. Those big machines are not available in the villages. They're not available in every diagnostic center. But this can go. Are you already working with other countries or for instance only in India? How is going so far? So during COVID, you know, there was a whole lot of other issues. So yeah. we focused on international clearances. Now we have a European CE mark as well as a US FDA for one of our devices, which is adjunct right now. And uh, we do have the CE mark, so we are in uh, many countries in Africa, as well as Philippines, going wow. to Malaysia, Indonesia, Indonesia shortly, Nepal, uh, UAE. And we just uh, have a couple of uh, partner discussions happening with Brazil as well. Please come to Brazil. Brazil sure. save so, so many people's. Sure. So many people lives, so many Glad women. Glad to partner with anyone interested. Yeah, I will be very, very happy to help. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, Natalia. Thank you so much, doctor, for your work. Thank you. I appreciate your decision to quit your job previously to develop such an amazing device. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Natalia. Wonderful speaking with you. Keep Thank going. You. Thank you.